expertise is in emerging infectious diseases. What I'm really interested in is who gets infected, how can we diagnose them, and then figuring out how we can treat people. USC really appealed to me. There's a lot of support here. You know, we are all still learning and growing. And so I've had wonderful faculty mentors here that are excited and energetic about the work that I do and wanting to find ways that we can support each other's research. There's a big need for neurology here in South Carolina. And stroke is a very intense field because strokes happen 24-7, 365. Every year, every two years, treatment is changing. You see somebody come in paralyzed. In the past, when there was no treatment available, you would know that this would either be in the nursing home, disabled for the rest of their lives, or potentially even pass away from the illness. But I would say at least a third to half of them are now walking out of the hospital day two. It gives you goosebumps. The younger you can identify and sort of uh, treat individuals, the better the outcomes are just gonna be. There's a way to look at the impact of autism from all of these different facets. You can look at the behavioral, the developmental, the cognitive. I realize the ways in which we ask those questions are going to be best if it's interdisciplinary and um, longitudinal. So to me, the impact of the things that I do have, have gone from being primarily focused in research and writing grants to now having this sort of leadership opportunity. That's what drew me to coming to the University of South Carolina. The university supports the building of the next generation, and they're gonna do things better than I can do. <laughs> to me, mentorship is huge. It's what makes me happy when I go home at night is knowing that I'm supporting that next generation. I want to turn around and see a whole line of students that are coming through the door and just being more successful than me. And if we can do some cool science at the same time, it's a win-win.